Thoroughbred Week with John Henderson is presented by Actistetin, Adina Springs, Ashford Stud, BC2A Paste, Breeders' Cup, Claiborne Farm, Darby Dan Farm, EmpireCityVets.com, Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, Keeneland, Malone's, New York Thoroughbred Breeding and Development Fund, OCD Pellets, Old Colony Insurance Services, Paul Miller Ford, Quillen Leather and Tack, Sally Horse Fans, Spendthrift Farm, and Windstar Farm. Hello everyone, Carl Nathy filling in for John Henderson on this edition of Thoroughbred Week featuring a determined winner of the Houston Ladies Classic and an impressive classic prospect in the Grade 2 Holy Bowl Stakes. We begin with sprinting fillies and mares at Oaklawn Park in the American Beauty Stakes. Sugar Shock, the 8-5 favorite, Frank Miramati has the call. Approaching the quarter pole, it's spring included, showing the way three quarters of a length, fast and fine looking is in second. A host of pursuers are coming. Inside comes Have You Gone Away in the green cap. Sugar Shock trying to make some progress. She'll be caught wide. They're at the top of the stretch. Spring included digs in gamely. Here comes Have You Gone Away right up alongside Sugar Shock finding her best stride in the center. And she's starting a motor home with good looking strides. Time is running out, however. Spring included. Have You Gone Away. Sugar Shock erupting on the outside. Does she have time? Here's the classy Sugar Shock. And she mows them all down to win the American Beauty. Sugar Shock returns a winner, defeating Long Shot Spring included by half a length, Channing Hill aboard the Keeneland Sales graduate in 111 and 3. Sugar Shock now 4 for 5 at Oaklawn Park, including victories in the Grade 3 Honeybee and the Grade 3 Fantasy Stakes last year. The Doug Anderson trainee making her first start since failing to finish in the Grade 3 Iowa Oaks in June. The Philly by Candy Ride was bred in Kentucky by Pam and Martin Wygod and was a $20,000 Keeneland September yearling. Sugar Shock has earned $458,000 for On Cloud 9 LLC. Preakness winner at three and Met Mile winner at four, Darby Dan Farm Stallion Shackelford was a brilliant three-time grade one winner of over $3 million who possessed 115 buyer speed. His first weanlings sold for up to $200,000. Watch for his first yearlings selling this summer. Next, turf horses in the Grade 3 Tampa Bay Stakes. Skyflight, the 6-5 to five favorite, Richard Grunder has the call. They settle for their journey up the back stretch. The Illinois bred Super Soldier dashes clear now to command the race by two. Skyflight settles into stride now nicely to be second from the outside. Rerun, now racing third, Hobo Ridge is right there fourth. Rose Breyer is making up ground and will need racing room between horses. One touches down along the inner rail. Two and a half lengths farther back, the tricky hat. Now the pace quickens with three furlongs still to run and Super Soldier trying to take him start to finish. Sky Flight ranging up nicely and ready to pound second. Lakti is now putting in a run. Now to be third as they turn for home. Three sixteenths of a mile to run. Here comes Sky Flight moving up. Super Soldier tries to battle back toward the rail. Second on the outside. Rerun is finishing up nicely. And way out on the outside is Old Time Hockey. In deep stretch, Sky Flight. Lock T. Lock T on the outside. Old Time Hockey charging. A three horse photo looks like Lock T. Four to one second choice Lochte gets up to score by a head over old time hockey who has a neck on the favorite Skyflight. Paco Lopez aboard in 141 and three. Winner of the grade one Gulfstream Park turf handicap last year, Lochte making his first start since finishing fifth in the grade two Fort Lauderdale Stakes in his seasonal debut. The five-year-old gelding by Medallia Doro was bred in Kentucky by Maura Gittens. A $475,000 yearling, he was purchased by his current connections for $60,000. Lochte has earned $548,000. Marcus Vitale trains the winner for Crossed Sabres Farm. To Sam Houston Park for the Grade 3 John B. Connolly Turf Cup. Coleport, the 9-5 to five favorite, Tom Harris has the call. As they continue their run for the far turn, and Cole Port has had it completely all his way out here. The leader by three. Trace Creek is racing next. Racing along the inside fleet. Mitchie is right there. As they head it midway around the turn, Ben Will the outside follows. Moving through at the inside, Michaels Gabriel. The tempo quickens as they run to the top of the stretch. 
Coldport is trying to take him the distance as they bend off the turn and run for home. And Coldport leads the charge down the lane. Trace Creek swings to the outside, chasing late. On the outside, Daddy's Kid into third. But Coldport is razor sharp and goes wire to wire. Coldport in the John B. Conley Turf Cup. Odds on favorite Coldport, the front running winner by three and a quarter lengths over Trace Creek. Miguel Mena up in 149 flat, the third consecutive victory for Coldport, who was last seen defeating state breads in the Bucks Boy Stakes at Hawthorne. The six year old horse by Kitten's Joy was bred in Illinois by his owners, Kenneth and Sarah Ramsey. Trained by Mike Maker, Coldport has earned $545,000. Watch Thoroughbred Week replays online at tbreadweek.com. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with three-year-old fillies in this segment. Three-year-old stakes action is presented by BC2A Paste. Reduce the likelihood of tying up with BC2A Paste. We begin with turf fillies at Gulfstream Park in the Grade 3 Sweetest Chant Stakes. Consumer credit, the 9-5 to five favorite, Larry Colmus, picks up the call. 24 flat was the quarter as they enter the back stretch where it is Miss Temple City on the inside and Quality Rocks and Quality Rocks pokes a neck in front. Miss Temple City second on the rail. Outside of them, Loon River follows in third. And right in between horses going up is Consumer Credit. And she's only a length and a half off the lead. Well bunched up the back stretch. Old Fashioned Gal right with that group too. A length and a half clear of Nikki's Brown Miss. Cosmic Serenities after that. As they move for the turn and then comes Cardinal Cove. Red Sachet to the outside and Angel Falls. 48 and 2 for a half mile. Quality Rocks on the outside. Miss Temple City along the rail. These two go at it. And and Loon River is just to the outside of them. Nikki's Brown Miss in behind horses needs a way through. Consumer Credit is right there in contention as they come to the top of the stretch. Quality Rocks, Miss Temple City. These two, Nikki's Brown Miss has room to come and get them. Consumer Credit on the outside, then Cardinal Cove along the rail. Quality Rocks in front, close to home. Miss Temple City fights on. Here's Consumer Credit running them down on the far outside to win the sweetest chant. Consumer credit by Windstar Farm Stallion more than ready takes it by a length over front running Quality Rocks, who has a head on Miss Temple City. Edgar Zayas aboard the Keeneland Sales graduate in 135 and 4. The third consecutive victory for Consumer Credit, who broke her maiden at Belmont Park last fall, and then followed with a sharp score in the weight of wild stakes at Gulfstream Park West. The filly was bred in Kentucky by Stone Street Thoroughbred Holdings and was a $185,000 Keeneland September yearling. The fourth consecutive winner of this race for trainer Chad Brown. Consumer credit has earned $165,000 for Clarovich Stables and William H. Lawrence. Bullet Train is a group winning three quarter brother to the great Frankel. His first foals are yearlings of 2015 and are outstanding. Contact Crestwood Farm to inquire about Bullet Train. Next from Gulfstream Park, the Grade 2 Forward Gal Stakes over the main track. Set Weir, the 2 to 1 favorite, again, here is Larry Colmus. They're racing in the forward gal. Bit of an awkward start there for Mama Mia Maria. And a good beginning for Akati's Phaeton. Akati's Phaeton and Enchantress go out to the lead. Sid Dweer is right there to the inside of them. These three in a line early on. And then it's Distinto away running in fourth. By the Moon is fifth. Moving up between horses is Taylor S. Taylor S now on the charge and up into fourth as they head up the back stretch. Then last of the Mohicans. Mama Mia Maria is after that. Skip a loot to the outside and far behind. Or Bird at the Wire in Tripoka as they head up the back stretch in 22 and 2 fifth seconds. Enchantress on the outside, Sedweer along the rail. These two necks apart on the lead. And then it's Akati's Phaeton running in third just off of them. Distinta squeezing through on the inside. Taylor S is in tight. By the Moon is going up on the far outside with a four wide sweep. And here's By the Moon rushing up on the outside to take the lead. It's now By the Moon in front. Akati's Phaeton and Enchantress. Entrance, Sid Weir is down on the inside. Distinto looks for running room. And then comes Taylor S. And on the far outside, Bird at the wire from far behind is charging. And here's Bird at the wire. 
Bird at the wire into Rod Ortiz Jr. have taken the lead. And they're pulling away as Lass of the Mohicans rallies late on the far outside. Coming down to the line, Bird at the wire scores in the forward gal. 12 to 1, Bird at the Wire rallies from last to defeat 11 to 1, Lass of the Mohicans by three and a quarter lengths. A 1 2 finish by Keeneland Sales graduates. Arad Ortiz Jr., the winning jockey, in 124 and 4. Bird at the Wire stepping up to Graded Stakes Company after breaking her maiden in her last start at Churchill Downs. The filly by Summer Bird was bred in Kentucky by Lynn and Kathy Jones and was a $23,000 yearling. Trained by Dale Romans, Bird at the Wire has earned $158,000 for Forum Racing. The Spendthrift Farm Stallion of the Week is Arch Arch Arch, winner of the million dollar Grade 1 Arkansas Derby before becoming a favorite for the Kentucky Derby. This striking son of Arch is a participant in Spendthrift's Breed Secure program. Call the farm today to learn how Breed Secure can benefit you in 2015. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with the Grade 2 Holy Bull Stakes coming up in this segment. We begin with three-year-old turf horses at Gulfstream Park in the Kitten's Joy Stakes. Cronin the Barbarian, the 5-2 to two favorite, Larry Colmus has the call. 48 and one was a half mile and now the field goes into the turn courtier the leader dubai sky a neck back in second ode to the hunt goes up on the outside of them that it's felly fran in fourth on the far outside getting going is a campari in fifth with a three wide run cronin the barbarians put to the whip way out there into the course then it's chief kitten and they're coming to the top of the stretch courtier is the leader dubai sky is alongside these two into the final furlong together dubai sky and courtier and they're right together felly Fran is third. It is still Courtier in Dubai Sky on the far outside. Cronin the Barbarian gaining ground late. They're coming down to the wire, and it's a head bobbing finish between Courtier and Dubai Sky. Let's take another look at that photo finish. It's six to one Courtier with the lead on the rail. Joel Rosario up, but five to one Dubai Sky and John Velasquez are challenging on the outside, and Dubai Sky gets up to take the photo by a head. The favorite, Cronin the Barbarian, rallies late to take third, the mile on the turf in 136 flat. That's three consecutive wins for Dubai Sky, who dead heated with fellow Bill Mott trainee Hard to Port in an optional claimer at Gulfstream Park in his latest. The Colt by Candy Ride was bred in Kentucky by his co-owner, Bessie Lou Stables, and is a full brother to grade one stakes winner, Twirling Candy. Dubai Sky has earned $125,000 for Three Chimneys Farm and Bessie Lou Stables. John Velasquez with a safe ride of the week presented by Sally Horse Vans, the safest way to the winner's circle. Sprinting three-year-olds at Gulfstream Park in the Grade 3 Hutchison Stakes, Barbados, the three to five favorite. Once again, here's Larry Colmus. Around the far turn and Barbados bearing down on XY Jet. XY Jet still the leader by a length. Ran a 45 and one half mile. Barbados ever closer with every stride. And the two of them will turn for home together. XY Jet and Barbados. Big Family is moving up outside of Richard the Great, but they're far behind the top two. Barbados on the outside. XY Jet not giving in just yet. Barbados has a slight lead. XY Jet on the inside fights him to the finish. Barbados and XY Jet coming down to the line together, and Barbados has won the Hutchison by a neck. Odds on favorite Barbados by Windstar Farm Stallion Spitestown runs by XY Jet to score by half a length. Louise Saez aboard the three-time Keeneland sales graduate in 124 and 2. That's two stakes victories over the track this year for Barbados, who was an easy winner of the spectacular bid in his first start for trainer Kellen Gorder and Suzanne Stables. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Tommy Town Thoroughbreds. Barbados has earned $205,000. A $160,000 Keeneland September yearling and a $230,000 Keeneland two-year-old. The maiden winning colt was consigned by Windstar Racing to the 2014 Keeneland November sale where he was purchased by Paul Hannaful for $340,000. Grade 3 Hutchison Stakes winner Barbados, the Keeneland sales graduate of the week. To Sunland Park for the Riley Allison Derby. 
Cinco Charlie, the one to five favorite, Robert Geller has the call. Cinco Charlie by one. In second placing and under pressure for the first time, Dirt Monster. And Cinco Charlie's got away. Made me talks running a huge race. Made me talk coming on the outside, top of the stretch. And Cinco Charlie leads for home in the rally, Allison. A length to Made Me Talk on the outside. And Made Me Talk issuing a bit of a threat. Cinco Charlie gets away now. And there is a look around to the right, a look to the left. And that's enough. And Casey Lambert says no more playing. And it's time for some serious action. And Cinco Charlie waltzes in. Six and a half lengths. Odds on favorite Cinco Charlie rolls home officially by eight and a half lengths over Made Me Talk. Casey Lambert aboard the OBS sales graduate in 138 flat. The Steve Asmussen trainee won or placed in six stakes last year and capped off his two-year-old campaign with consecutive stakes wins at Laurel Park and Fairgrounds. The Colt by Indian Charlie was bred in Kentucky by Candyland Farm and was a $190,000 OBS March two-year-old. Cinco Charlie has earned $335,000 for William and Corinne Heiligbro. Cinco Charlie paid $240 to win and is the Malone's Favorite of the Week, presented by Malone's, Lexington's Favorite Steakhouse. Back to Gulfstream Park for the Grade 2 Holy Bull Steaks. Frosted the 3-2 favorite. Again, here's Larry Colmus. They're off in the Lamholm South Holy Bull. And it's frosted with early speed. Bluegrass Singer, a little bit quicker early, and Bluegrass Singer will take the lead in the run to the first turn. And Frosted will sit right behind. His first down moves up into second. Upstart caught free wide, running in third. Juan and Bina hard to control early, throwing his head up and down on that first turn. Decision Day goes up on the outside, and then it's Keen Ice, followed by Fremento and High Noon Riders at the back. Six links off the lead as they go to the back stretch, where Bluegrass Singer and Javier Castellano will make the pace over first down and up start. They went 24 and 2 for the opening quarter mile. Decision Day is fourth on the outside. Frosted is running in fifth along the rail. Three lengths off of Bluegrass Singer. Then Juan and Bina on the inside. Keen Ice is after that. Fermento and High Noon Rider. So they continue up the back stretch here and Bluegrass Singer is still up top. The lead is three quarters of a length over first down while Upstart is third to the outside. A moderate half mile of 48 and four fifth seconds. Frosted is backed off a bit. He's three lengths behind in the race to the far turn. And then it's Juan and Bina, and the others have been separated at this point. Around the far turn, an upstart comes up alongside of Bluegrass Singer. And these two are now nose to nose off the lead. And Frosted gets going in third. Frosted two and a half lengths off of them. Juan and Bina fourth on the outside. First down retreats in fifth, and they're coming toward the top of the stretch. And it's upstart. And upstart has taken the lead now on the outside of Bluegrass Singer and turns for home in front in the Holy Bull. It is upstart in front, leaving Bluegrass Singer behind. And then it's frosted to the outside, followed by Juan and Bina, but upstart is pulling away. And he is pulling away impressively to win the Holy Bowl. Two to one second choice upstart by Claiborne Farm Stallion Flatter defeats the favorite frosted by a widening. 143 and three. Upstart defeated state breads in the first two starts of his career before finishing second in the Grade 1 Champagne Stakes and third in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. The Ridgeling was bred in New York by Mrs. Gerald A. Nielsen and was a $130,000 yearling. Trained by Rick Violet, Upstart has earned nearly $702,000 for Ralph Evans. Coming up, a stretch duel in the Texas night. Time now for the feature race of the week presented by Keeneland, investing in racing's future since 1936, to Sam Houston Park for the $400,000 Houston Ladies Classic. Cassatt, the three to five favorite, here's the call by Tom Harris. And they're off in the Houston Ladies Classic. Kiss to remember, quickly into stride, is now joined by Cassette from the outside. And from between horses, Rose to Gold is right there racing third. Up from the outside, Angelica Zapata is racing next, and Shannon Nicole follows as they race round the turn. There's two lengths more. Back to Blue Violet from third last. Fruity DeMar follows that. Up along the outside, Sparta Magic, as they have three parts of a mile to run in the Houston Ladies Classic. Cassatt. Brings them along by a half length. 
Rose to Gold is there. Prompted along, Kiss to Remember. Still with the leaders as well. Span of three. Back to Shannon Nicole. Racing alongside from the outside. Angelica Zapata, six off the leader now. There's two and a half. Back to Blue Violet. Still a length and a half or two. Back to Sparta Magic. Lingering second last. And Fruity DeMar, they're at the far turn. Cassette continues to lead it with just over three-eighths of a mile to go. Kiss to remember right behind, Rose to Gold racing third on the outside as they head it midway round the turn. Cassette let out a notch, goes on to lead it by two now. Kiss to remembers at the inside, Rose to Gold follows next on the outside. Angelica Zapata kicks on now far outside and they bend off the turn and run for home. Cassette brings them off the turn clear by three with a final furlong to go. Rose to Gold takes a run at it on the outside. Angelica Zapata late. Now Shannon Nicole moving from between horses. Here comes Shannon Nicole in with a late say. Cassatt trying to hang on. Mad dash to the finish. Cassatt just enough. Odds on favorite Cassatt has enough left to hold off Angelica Zapata by a neck. Kerwin Clark aboard the Keeneland Sales graduate in 144 and four. The third consecutive stakes victory for Cassatt who wrapped up last season with easy wins in the Zia Park Oaks and the Tiffany Last Stakes. The four-year-old filly by Tappet was bred in Kentucky by Mount Brilliant Farm and was a $300,000 Keeneland September yearling. Trained by Larry Jones, Cassatt has earned $610,000 for Fox Hill Farms. We'll have three-year-olds in the Grade 2 San Vicente Stakes and the Grade 3 Sam F. Davis Stakes and three-year-old fillies in the Grade 1 Las Virginia Stakes also featuring turf milers in the Grade 2 Arcadia Stakes and sprinters in the Grade 2 Palos Verde Stakes next week here on Thoroughbred Week. Thoroughbred Week has been presented by Actistatin, Adina Springs, Ashford Stud, BC2A Paste, Breeders' Cup, Claiborne Farm, Darby Dan Farm, EmpireCityVets.com, Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, Keeneland, Malone's, New York Thoroughbred Breeding and Development Fund, OCD Pellets, Old Colony Insurance Services, Paul Miller Ford, Quill and Leather and Pack, Sally Horse Bands, Spendthrift Farm, and Windstar Farm. Online at tbreadweek.com.